Hello everyone, this is Milan. In today's video, I am going to show you how to set up your own free VPN server using OpenVPN. For this tutorial, we are going to use Amazon AWS for creating the VPN server. First of all, you need to visit this URL and create a free tier AWS account. It will let you create and use VPN server for 12 months without charging anything. However, please remember that with this free tier account, you are limited to using the VPN server for 750 hours per month. So after creating a free AWS account, sign into the console. Select the EC2 service. From here, you can select your server's geographical location. If you want to get smoother and more stable speeds, you should choose a server location that's closer to you. For example, I'm in India, so I'll choose an Asia Pacific server. Let's select Singapore. Next, go to the instances page. Click on launch instances. Enter a name for your server. Click on browse more AMIs. Then click on AWS Marketplace. Here, search for OpenVPN. Select the OpenVPN access server. Click Continue. From this instance type, select T2 Micro, which has the free tier eligible batch. Then, from the key pair login section, select proceed without a key pair. Now scroll down and click on launch instance. Now you need to wait a few seconds for the server to go to running state. To see your server, click on instances. Select the one you just created. Here you can see your VPN server is running. The next step is to create a VPN username and password. For that, you need to connect to the server. To do so, click the connect button. Make sure connect using EC2 instance connect is selected. And click on connect. Now a terminal window will open. Here, type yes for the agreement. Then keep pressing enter to confirm all the default settings. Once you reach the end, it will create a VPN user named OpenVPN and it asks you to set a password for the VPN user account. Just type a password here. Then type the password again to confirm. Remember, using this VPN username and password, you will be able to log into the OpenVPN admin panel and OpenVPN client. No need to specify any activation key, just hit enter. That's it. You have successfully created the VPN username and password. Before you start using the VPN, you just need to enable one little feature in the OpenVPN admin panel. To log into the OpenVPN admin panel, copy this admin URL and enter it in a new tab. Just click proceed. Then enter the VPN username and password you just created. Accept the license agreement. Once you are in the OpenVPN admin dashboard, go to VPN settings. Then scroll down to the routing section. Here, enable the toggle next to should client internet traffic be routed through the VPN. Then enable the toggle for have clients use specific DNS servers. Here enter Google or Cloudflare's DNS for fast response. Scroll down and click on save settings. Then remember to click on update running server. That's it. You have successfully configured the VPN server. Congratulations on getting to this point of the tutorial. Now let's see how you can use the VPN on your mobile or computer using the OpenVPN client app. So first download the official OpenVPN connect app on your device.
install the app. After installation, open it. To import the VPN profile, here enter the OpenVPN client address. Click accept. Then enter the VPN username and password you had set. You can change its name. The VPN profile is now imported. Now you are ready to use the VPN. Just click the toggle and enter your password to connect to the VPN. To check if it's working, you can search what is my IP on Google. It should show your VPN server's IP instead of your real IP address. You can see it's showing Amazon as my ISP and my location is showing in Singapore. Now let's check the internet speed that I got with the VPN running on a Singapore server. Guys, you can also install the OpenVPN Connect app on your mobile from the Play Store or App Store and connect to the VPN following the same process.